welcome you to Acrisure Stadium here in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson with you. You know, partner, fantasy football doesn't take into account the guys close to the football, the guys at the line of scrimmage. This is one where our eyes are going to be focused on that battle in the trenches all game long. Mike, it doesn't matter if it's peewee football. The veteran Chris Boswell ready to get things going. And off we go here on Monday night. This one taken at the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants led out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones. Here he is. It's year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke. And Jones still at the helm for the Giants. I think the biggest thing that stood out from last week's game was when they went into the game with an initial plan, how quickly were they able to get away from that when they realized it wasn't working? I think they got a lot of unscouted looks, meaning the defense threw a lot of exotic looks at them, blitzes, different fronts and coverages, maybe things they didn't work on all week. So the key this week is understand what is the defense looking to do today and how fast can we make those adjustments if we're not having early success. And he will finally be taken down at the Giants' 38-yard line. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. Here's Jones. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. Big time sack there by T.J. Watt. And he certainly picked up right where he led off. Remember last year, Mike, he led the NFL in sacks with 19. He's made a living off making plays in the backfield, and he continues to do so here. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Sending a receiver right. On second down, it's Singletary. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. This ball carrier just didn't want to go down. And this defense, they had to throw everything they had at him, Mike. He just kept fighting and fighting. But finally, when they were able to get him on the ground, they were able to... Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. With the right personnel, the safety position is like the ultimate chess piece, right? You can put him in center field to play pass. You can bring him up and make him a pseudo linebacker. But you also can bring him on pressure, Mike. And that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. And that's a nice job of making things more manageable for this offense as he takes it back beyond the 25-yard line. The Steelers let out by their quarterback, Russell Wilson, Still strange to not see him in a Seattle uniform where he was for a decade, a couple of years with the Broncos, and now Greg, the nine-time Pro Bowler, year one in Pittsburgh. You think back to last week and what was really a pretty bland game. He didn't do a ton that was overly exciting, but his team was still able to come out with a win. I think that's really a testament to this roster that they have built. Yes, you're gonna need your quarterback to play good ball as the season progresses, but in the meantime, they are good enough around him that as he continues to find his way, this is still a tough team to match up with. Here's a second and six. Another run here with Harris. And he'll weave his way down close to that first down. Going to come up just a little shy. It's going to be third down and short. They send Fryermuth, the tight end, in motion. He will have a Steelers first down. They are able to move the sticks. It's a gain of four on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. On the ground, here comes Patterson. And he's going to get him a first down here across midfield. And 
down to the 45. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. He'll manage only a couple. Micah McFadden, the linebacker, there on the tackle. Second down and eight. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. This one complete to Washington. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Third down, three to go. That's Washington, the man in motion. They'll try to run for it with Harris. They'll mark him down there at the 33, but that is good enough. A run gives him a first down. On the carry, it's Patterson. And that one not going to net too much. He'll get this down to the 31. Hook him up on a second down and eight. They go play action with Wilson. He's got it at the seven. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. He'll run with Harris. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And we're back to the Steel City after this. We'll go again from the three. It is second and goal. One more time. It's Harris. Let's give him a yard down to the three-yard line. and goal from the shotgun Wilson and the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage but that's all he can get out of that one fourth down here's Wilson and this will pay off it is caught George Pickens, touchdown Steelers. His sixth touchdown now for the season. So when you find yourself this tight to the goal line, Mike, the offense becomes a lot more restricted in as far as how deep you can throw the ball. The field is wider than it is long, and I think the idea here is let's spread them out. Let's put all of our eligibles out there and let the quarterback get a really good picture. Where are the holes in the coverage? Where are the one-on-one -on -one matchups that I like? And let's put this ball in the quarterback's hand, let him make a good decision, and in this case, it results in a touchdown. So, 7-0 the score, and set now for the dynamic kickoff. This will be returned from the 6. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Giants offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. Jones keeping this one. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. They go five receivers for third down and four. Shotgun now for Jones. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. That's his first reception of the ball game, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. 
to really critical conversion here because after not scoring on your opening drive, you just can't afford to follow that up with a three and out. So you find yourself down seven, nothing. Sustain this drive and at the very least, see if you can come away with some points. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. From the gun, it's Jones. This is an element that defensively you always have to be ready to defend. You can't just accept that it's a pass and be so consumed with the receivers downfield. You have to account for the quarterback as a scrambler. You can see why as he's able to get out of the pocket and pick up the first down. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run once more with Singletary. And nice work here. He's got the first down, down to about the 30-yard line. They motion a receiver right. They'll go back to Singletary on first down. He'll be stopped just a short game, down to the 30. Here's a second and nine. Now, Jones. He's got his man, that's Slayton. Now they are in business, inside the 15-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and. They get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We'll come back to the Steel City after this. Second and seven. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Off he goes. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. Taking off, and he's in. Daniel Jones. Touchdown, Giants. Well, you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. So back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff. Now return coming from the seven. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Steelers offense and running back Najee Harris getting set to take over once more. And we show you the NFL leaders in rushing touchdowns. As you can see, he's right up there among the best in the league. Now Wilson on first down. That's complete. Calvin Austin. The Steelers going to use one of their timeouts. Throwing now. Wilson on first down. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended receiver. And it'll be second down. 
On second down, Russ will set up the screen to Patterson. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Wilson's been doing this a long time. He knows the drill, slides to avoid the contact, and picks up the first down. He'll look to throw. He'll find his big target, Pat Fryermuth. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Second and a yard. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Out of the gun, here's Russ. That's hot. Left side, it's complete. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds. And he stopped the clock as well. Wilson will throw again. That's brought in right side by Pickens. Remember, he had the touchdown on the opening drive, and here on drive two, he gets a first down with that catch. Again, Wilson. And he's in. George Pickens. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. That is second touchdown of the game. This one, number seven on the year. You hear coaches, you hear commentators, everybody talks about that middle four, Mike, the final two minutes of the second quarter and the first two minutes of the third quarter. Here they are now. They go down and they steal a late touchdown to end the half. Remember, they're going to get the ball first coming out of the break. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. So we have hit halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. We'll get right back to it as we'll get ready for the third quarter. This is going to be taken in at the three. Mm-hmm. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. They go play action now. Wilson. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. And some good blocking at the point of attack. A pickup of seven, and it brings up third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he will slide down with the first down for the moment, but there is a penalty flag on the play. The task now, a really tough one. Third and very long. Here's Wilson. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. This is the stop they talked about. This is how they wanted to start this second half and try to get back some of this momentum they lost in the first. Now, can their offense capitalize and take advantage 
with this possession. Here's the replacement for Cameron Johnston, Corliss Waitman, on to punt, as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. Here comes Jackson on the return. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. The Giants offense running back Devin Singletary back on the field. They'll come up here first and 10. Now a play fake. Jones. Now he takes off. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. In motion, it's Robinson. They fake the jet sweep and will hand it up the middle. He'll turn this into a gain of about four. It's going to lead to third down. Back to throw is Joe. He finds his tight end, Bellinger. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get him to the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Nice catch here by Theo Johnson, the young rookie tight end, and I really like his upside. I think he's kind of a long, rangy guy. He's got a great catch radius, and he can really get vertical downfield. One of only five FBS tight ends last year, Mike, with seven-plus touchdowns. So I think the Giants have a chance here to develop him and give Daniel Jones another offensive weapon as they look to get this thing back on track. They face second down and seven. And he will score. Daniel Jones. Touchdown, New York. That his second touchdown tonight. And that is now a pair of rushing touchdowns. The quarterback giving it to them, Greg, with his legs in this one. And we're starting to see, Mike, why this week this coaching staff told us they're encouraging this guy to do this more often. His ability to be a passer but also a rusher is an element to this offense that is hard for defenses to account for. We are all square. 14 apiece the score as this one's away. This one taken at the 7. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Good return, but he pays the price at the end. Picked up and thrown down. Here comes the Pittsburgh offense now, heading back onto the field. This one, everything we could have hoped for at this point. All even at 14. We'll start this drive with first down. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Back to throw. Wilson. There's a short one caught by Fryermuth. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Third and six. From the shotgun, Wilson. He'll try and get there on the ground. Ten yards on the scramble there. And he picks up the first down. Having a quarterback with this ability to run is such an X factor in today's NFL. It's an element of their offense that you have to be prepared for on every single play. Here we see it on third down. Starts out as a pass. Nowhere to go with the ball. He tucks it, turns into a runner. Picks up the first down. And they'll take this down inside the 35. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. On first down, Wilson. 
he's going to keep it himself. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. They'll come up here on second down and five. Here's Wilson to throw. That's over the middle and taken in by Fryerman. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. That is caught. And he's into the end zone yet again. George Pickens. Touchdown, Steelers. Three touchdowns for him. Numbers six, seven, and eight on the season. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Throwing on first down is Jones. Now a screen to be set up for Singletary. And he's going to be brought down here on what will turn out to be the final play of the third quarter. No motion there, tight end Johnson. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with. So they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. That's over the middle to the tight end, Bellinger. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. What a luxury that certain teams, when they have a guy like this, I mean, not only is he the big target, but then to have that size and speed to run away from these linebackers and do so much of his damage after the catch. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. That's a really important pickup there on that last completion. Not only does it set up first and goal, but allows everybody in the huddle to just take a deep breath. We're no longer in this frantic offensive possession. Let's get our best play. Let's make sure everyone understands what to do because we know we need to finish this off with six if we can. And now being first and goal is going to go a long way in allowing that to be possible. Move back to the 10. They'll try here on second and goal. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Two plays at their disposal, but they'd love to get it right here on third and goal. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. And that's a big-time play. It felt like they really needed it, Mike. That was a drive where the offense seemed to be in complete control. Anytime on the defense where you find yourself on your heels, you're giving up big plays, you're giving up fresh set of downs, you need a spark. You need something to change the momentum of the drive, and we'll see if that was it right there. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. George Pickens and the Steelers offense heading back onto the field. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. This drive begins with a run by Harris. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. 
They'll work now on second and four. Play action. It's Wilson. Got a man over the middle. It's Pickens. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. They'll run here with Patterson. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take him down for a loss. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. Third and a yard. Now Wilson. He's got his tight end. That's fire move. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working this clock. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. They're going to run out of the gun, and here's Harris. And he'll get this inside the 20, a nice run. They're in the red zone. It's first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second and they get a fresh set of downs. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They send Fryermuth, the tight end, in motion. On first down, right back to Harris. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. Tight end, motioning left. They'll give it to Harris again. And good hard running will get him down. Close to a first down. Might be a yard short. They'll look to pick this up. Third and a yard. Here comes Harris on the toss to the right. And it looks like he's going to have enough for the first down. Yes, he does. First and goal coming up. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. Now from the nine, it'll be second and goal. Now it's Harris room to operate as he takes it down to the two. Third and goal. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. They'll come up for first and ten. Here we go. One final play. He'll let it fly. Deep ball for Slayton. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looked like he might have gotten there early. They'll drop the throw. And 
he'll be taken down, and that is going to do it. Oh, the comeback falls short. Time runs out. This game is over. So this one in the win column for the Steelers. And with an open date on the schedule next week, they'll be able to savor this one for a while. Rest up and ready to get back at it in two weeks' time. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Steelers, winners, as we say so long from the confluence of the Three Rivers in Pittsburgh.